This video chart presentation is Sino Hub Inc. This is an AMEX listed stock trading our ticker SIHI. See right off, momentum trying to come into this play. Solid base has been formed with a good support level or between 40 and 42 cents. Stock closed at 46 cents yesterday. Overall, real nice positive divergence in the long term. Price per share trending down, MACD trending up, approaching that zero mark. You can see last time it came towards that. They put together a nice little climb from down around a dollar all the way up to around a buck fifty. Fell back through that support level. Similar type position again with the MACD approaching zero. An offset pinch. More importantly, PPO with a nice trend back towards zero. ADX coming back down off of highs, showing the strength of the direction is losing some steam. Positive and negative DIs in a nice reversal position. MFIs basically struggling though to get through 50 to get into bull chart territory. Little pop right through here, but what we're looking for is all three of these, the 7, 14, and 21, to make their way through 50 to show some more strength to the play. You want to see this accumulation distribution continue to flatten and start to curl up. And very early on with shake and money flow, looks like it's trying to move upward a little bit. A lot of selling pressure been in this stock for nine months. Still pretty low. Selling pressure is clearly outweighing buying pressure at this point. But as a true bottom play, we'll be keeping on this to start to work its way back towards zero. CCI breaking back through zero at this point, moving to the upper half of the indicator, something it hasn't done in several months. Tells you it's starting to trade above its average mean. Full still showing a little bit of momentum coming into this play. And the trick's trending back towards zero. Overall, these indicators have a pretty nice look for a bottom play. Goes right along with the RSIs, pushing themselves upward, even tracking the 14 and 21. You can see a little bit of upward trend to them. It's good to see the long terms moving in that direction. 7 just now popped through 50. Again, you can see it's been a very difficult time for it to gather any real momentum. RSI also lending some support to the idea that this might be finding a bottom. As I mentioned, that bottom support must hold right there around 40 to 42 cents. I call 40 cents a true bottom, but that support does run up to 42. Must hold that area to stay in play. You can see this is relatively low volume. Only traded about 50,000 shares yesterday. Pretty typical for this. But buying pressure can come in more heavily. You can see through here when it starts to make a climb. And that's the type of thing we'll be looking for. Some definite resistance set up. Right in front of it at 47. It's had a hard time with it. And that's going to kind of stair step its way right through. You can see some more comes in there at 50. Again around 55. Really starts to stiffen up around 65 cents. That'll be a key spot for it if it can continue to push upward. At that point it'll be trading over top of the 50 day moving average. It'll flip the parabolic SAR which will come right down here to 40 cents. So even though there's some resistance right there at 47, I'd have my eyes set a little bit tighter right there on 50, 51 cents. See if it can push its way through that 50 day. If that can happen, the odds are increased. It might go up here and challenge this upper end resistance. But more importantly, then I'd look forward to start trying to trend upward, identify a true bottom, and take these indicators into full-blown bull mode and see if SIHI can continue uptrend from this point forward. Pretty nice looking bottom play. Pay attention to hold that support level. And see if some volume can come in, show some buying pressure. That's what I'll be looking for in the SIHI chart. But as always, this is merely my interpretation. Thank you for watching and trade smart.